Hey guys, we are back with some more Wolfsburg Wolves franchise mode, and in this one, we are in the playoffs once again. And we are in round number one against the LA Kings. So first thing that we are going to do, I'm going to show you guys a quick little line change here. Mayer is back on the power play. Before it was Zanetti for the remainder of the regular season, but with the amount of just turnovers that Mayer had, or not turnovers per se, that sounds, make it sound negative. No, it is a tremendous uh, impact that Mayer has had defensively. 97 takeaways to 29 giveaways. So he will be on the power play. And uh, that is really about it in terms of lines. Everything else is the same. So let's check out the LA Kings lines. See what they're all about. So LA. First line is Vladimir Afanasenkov, Cam Weiss, and Ilya Kovalchuk, 79 overall. My goodness. Uh, second line, Tanner Pearson, Anze Kopitar, and Anders Lee. Third line, Andrea, Adrian Kempe, Gabriel Velarde, and Jarrett Anderson Dolan. Fourth line, Riley Sheehan, Jujar Kara, and Andrew Kopp. So that center core actually looks pretty dirty. <laughs> Cam Weiss, 88. Andrzej Kopitar, 87. Gabriel Velarde, 86. Pretty deep. Yeah, very deep center core. And then, as far as... Oh, go, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> as far as defense goes, Dougie Hamilton with Drew Doughty. Jonas Brodeen with Gustav Olofsson. So... We may have helped out the LA Kings here a little bit, <laughs> at least with our trade last year, uh, or at the at the draft rather, in order to obtain Aaron Zanetti. They get two defensemen in Hamilton and Brodeen. Was not counting on having to go up against them in the first round. I guess I was wrong. Jerome Couture and Charlie Coyle playing defense. So they're clearly down a man here. So goaltenders, Velalta and Dopita. So there's their weakness there in goaltending. And then scratched are Thomas and... Bi oh yeah, Byram. That would make sense. Why is he scratched? Was he just injured the last time we played LA? And he's... I would imagine Byram's in. I, I, I don't see why they would be sitting Bo and Byram. And then Akil Thomas as well. So... Uh, I mean, I could see why they would maybe sit Thomas, but definitely, I, I no idea why they would sit Bowen Byram. So you can count on him being in there for game number one, because it doesn't look like he's injured. So overall, they have a solid center core, they have a solid decor, but they have no goaltending. So that is where we have to expose them. And uh, now, of course... Now that I've said they have no goaltending, they're probably going to get like three shutouts in a row. So, now, no more wasting time. We will get into game number one of the series. Let's get it going. Here we go. In Wolfsburg for game number one. First period, that will be a goal for Ilya Kovalchuk on Thatcher Demko. Second period, that'll be a goal for Maddox Homer on Valelta. Okay, so we're going 1-1 one, one in the third. Not too bad of a first game so far. Come on, power play. Uh, you can't get it done. Was that a long power? Was that a five-minute power play as well? I felt that that lasted like that lasted a long time. Weiss with the goal on Demko and then Kara as well with the goal on Demko. So they're up two now. The six minutes remaining. Come on, boys. Late period comeback. Nope. Okay. So we started out that game solid. As we had a goal in the second period. Got it tied. But LA ultimately had the better game. So we need to be better in game number two for sure. Because once you lost twice on home ice, that's never a good thing. There we go. Game number two. First period. Goal by Kovalchuk again. Oh man. He is lighting it up so far. Second period. There you go, boys. That's what you like to see. Kuleshov. Point. Kuleshov again. Malkin and Homer. And then Villalta was pulled after the second Kuleshov goal. And Malkin and Homer on Dopita. So five goal second period for your Wolfsburg Wolves. Should have no problems here. 
Unless we have a colossal collapse, in which case, that would be uh, just, like, I, I would probably get fired for that. A fan of Sankov on Demko, but it should not be enough as Kopitar with the goal there. With 6.37 remaining. Come on, boys. Shut down for the rest of the period. Whew. Okay, so we avoid disaster right there. They had two goals, so they, they made it somewhat close. But, you know, there was too much of a mountain to climb. So I'm glad we scored five there in the second. So tied 1-1. One, one. Not too bad. We had one dud of a game there uh, in a 3-1 loss. But then a solid game with a 5-3 win. So... The thing about the Kings here, they've scored three goals in both their games so far. So they're definitely consistent with their goal scoring as compared to us so far. So maybe we need to, you know, match that. <laughs> so here we go. Game number three in LA this time. First period. Goal by Kopitar on Demko right in front of the net. Second period. Nothing doing. All right. So uh, not too bad, but not looking favorable either. Come on, Wolfsburg. Get something going here. There you go. Stahlberg. The fighter from, it looks like the point, the, the low point area. And we have a tie game with 10 minutes remaining in the third period. Who's it going to be for the game winner? Are we going, or are we going to an overtime? We might be going to an overtime here and we are. So it's, what is it? Game number three. Uh, now I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to save the commentary for later for either game five six or seven or in an elimination game four which in this case isn't happening so we're just gonna do the real-time simulation for this one and hope that <laughs> the sim gods are on our side so here we go overtime period underway in la come on come on no 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 oh power play of our own power play of our own nope okay okay come on boys uh, come on, boys. Get some shots. Get some shots on that. Let's go. And that is going to be a goal by Alexander Kuleshov, the alternate captain. Our first ever draft pick. Getting the game-winning goal in game number three. Let's go. Up 2-1 in the series now. All right. I like where we're going. I like where we're going so far. Kuleshov <laughs> leads our team in goals right now with three and three games as defensemen. Jeez. All right. Here we go. Game number four. Still in LA. If we can go up 3-1, that would be very nice. First period, there you go. Go by Maddox Homer on Vilalta. Not going to get too excited yet. They've proved they can score. Second period. There you go. Malkin and Stahlberg on Vilalta. Let's go. A veteran presence coming through in the clutch with Malkin. And then the young guys stepping up as well. Let's go. I think we have the perfect mix. We, we honestly have the perfect mix of veterans and young guys. Come on, boys. Ten minutes remaining. Up 3 nothing. Don't blow it. Power play. Five minutes remaining. It's looking good. It's looking good. And oh no, Pearson. And eh, no, it's too little, too late. Malkin with the empty netter, with roughly a minute remaining. So four one in the game and three one in the series now, in favor of your Wolfsburg Wolves. And it, the simulation's pretty much been on our side since that game number two in the second period when we scored five goals. So going into game number five now, and the LA Kings are on the brink of elimination. And we might be looking at round number two, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. As that happened in the Islanders series, and look what happened there. So first period, nothing doing. Okay, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Nine shots to seven in favor of LA. Let's get some going here in the second second period. Okay, <laughs> go by Fanasankov on Demko, but brain point. On Velalta later in the period. So tied going into the third. They're out shooting us 23 to 13. Come on, boys. Get some shots on that. There you go. Gino, the veteran presence coming through in the clutch once again. Let's go. And uh, Anders Lee on Demko. It's going to be a battle of a third period here, boys. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, Wise with the goal on Demko. Come on. Five minutes remaining. Do something. Uh, no. And Lee with the empty netter. So we're going to a game six now in LA, which means anything could happen. And I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on, Wolfsburg. I know we weren't supposed to go on a playoff run this year, just given our our, uh, our 
rather rather young team, but you know it showed a lot of signs of being just good in general in the, in the regular season. Just given how many wins we had with the lack of depth on defense that we had, but again, all the lack of depth means we have younger guys up and coming. So here we go. First period, game number six. There you go. Point and Miller, the veteran presence is on Velalta. Second period, goal by Weiss. So <laughs> they're not backing down just yet. 2-1, and shots are 28-15 to in favor of the LA Kings. Come on, boys. Get going offensively. I know you got the two goals there, but, you know, I prefer you give Demko's a little bit of help there. Come on, boys. <laughs> Five minutes remaining in the third period. Get the insurance marker. Do we need it? Do we need it? No, we do not. We get the win in game number six, and we are off to round number two. Let's go. Demko came in clutch. Of course. <laughs> Just as I was about to say, Depco coming through with the clutch for us in game number seven, allowing only one goal, or not game number seven, game number six, allowing only one goal, and then here he is with a sprained thumb until May 19th. That is a month from now. <laughs> well, this is why I hung on to Schneider, boys. This is why we hung on to Schneider. Because he can now get in there as an 87 overall. We have nothing to worry about. We, we've seen what Schneider is capable of. So... I'm still very comfortable with our goaltender situation, but if she's if Schneider goes down, then we're definitely done. But you know what? Let's not think like that. We're gonna think that Schneider and hope and and really we can we know that Schneider is capable of carrying this team in the playoffs. So I mean, obviously our, our goal support has been there for the most part, but in games like game number six against the LA Kings, we're gonna need our goaltenders to steal us a couple of games here and there. As well as, you know, game number three as well, two to one overtime win. There was that 4-1 win in game number four. And then a 5-3 win in game number two. But all those goals came from one period. So for the most part, this series was mainly, I would say, the defense of Thatcher Demko. Besides, again, game number two and maybe a little bit of game number four. But, yeah, we really need Schneider to show up here in round number two. But, you know, let's not worry about that for right now. Let's just celebrate the fact that we got past the first round as a team that was not expected to make the playoffs. Just let that sink in for a little bit. Todd Mayer with six points. And none of those were actually... Oh, okay, two of them were power play points. I, I saw the zero on power play goals. I just assume no power play points, but that, that, that's not what that means. But still a solid series for Todd Mayer and really for our entire team. Gino with four clutch goals in that round. Point with five points. Aho with five points as well. Coolest job with three goals. Maddox Homer with three goals. Miller with three points. Stahlberg, Furland with two points. Dahan, Jones, Zanetti, Pajo, Jamnov, Vertanen, Robertson, Pearson, all with one point. So everyone besides Staples had at least a point in that series. So can't complain too much. And uh, Staples is currently a 79 overall as well. So as long as he grows in the offseason, I really cannot complain about this season. As well as, you know, guys like Zanetti and, and really all of our young guys. So, yeah, not too shabby of a first round. We would have preferred that we got it done in five. But, you know, as, as long as we got it done in the end, that's all that matters. And we did. So, Pajot with a 60% on faceoffs. Pearson with a 53.9%. Aho 53.1 and point could have been much better 45.8 so if anything goes wrong in the next round by chance that's maybe something you want to consider changing up but for the most part you know we've been solid uh, Miller with 14 hits Jones with 10 Stahlberg and Homer with 9 yeah we're, we're pretty good here and uh, let's see only one fight for Stahlberg you know he, he was he restrained himself in that round. I'm, I'm proud of him. <laughs> Goaltenders, let's see. Yeah, Demko with a 938 save percentage. He was solid, but unfortunately, we're going to have to go into Corey Schneider. Well, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, you know, but I would much rather have Demko for sure, as he was solid not only all year in the regular season, but in the past round as well. So uh, we are, we are going to have to go to Schneider for at least the next round. 
and hopefully he can really uh, get back into form with where he was last year. And he wasn't that bad this year. He was a 9-11 save percentage, but I still, you know, I, I, I really want to see a two years ago Corey Schneider from the playoffs, you know, 941 save percentage in 10 games. I think that's what, that's the Corey Schneider that we need in this next round upcoming, which we don't even know who it's against. So we'll see who it is. It's looking like possibly Winnipeg or you never know. Maybe Minnesota will come back. So let's see what happens here. So, uh, so far, it looks like, yeah, it's going to be Winnipeg. So we have Winnipeg in the second round. Anaheim also moving on. Calgary also moving on. Washington has beat Tampa in six. Buffalo has beat Ottawa in six as well. The Islanders sweep the Rangers and the Devils and Hurricanes are tied three to three. So we're just waiting on the Devils and Hurricanes at this point, and then we will see our next round matchup against the Winnipeg Jets. There we go. So, yep, there you go. And that will just about do it. Actually, one thing I do want to do before we end off the video is check the progress reports, as I don't believe we did that at the end of the last one. So, Schneider, Gino, Gino's down by 15 now. Uh, but he did have a lot of statistical growth. This year so that's good makes up for the uh the natural regression and frederick stahlberg he had some negative statistical growth so even though he's a medium toxic for yeah he did only get 18 points it's a career low for him but still he, he spent a lot of time in the box so uh, you know i would imagine he only gets 18 points for spending spending that much time in in the penalty box and then robertson dehan all these guys zanetti grew by three uh, he had three to offensive awareness, 88, and three to defensive awareness, 86, and then one to endurance. So he's looking pretty good. Uh, Aho grew by one. He's now an 88, though. Official first line forward. Now let's check the minors. So Akim Wolf grew. Edgar Castles grew a lot. It's up to 67. And Warren Barney up to a 77. So maybe he makes the jump next year. He's, keep in mind, he's not in our AHL squad at the moment. He's currently in the United States League. So hopefully Warren Barney is able to crack our roster next year. So he'll be an interesting player to watch. And then as far as goaltenders go, yeah, Rodin didn't really grow at all, unfortunately. But you know what? We have we're set in net for at least for right now with Demko and Schneider. So that'll be about it for this one. And in the next one, we will face the Winnipeg Jets in round number two of the year six playoffs. See you guys then.